So I got a customer, right? They had hired me to come out and diagnose their dishwasher. First of all, I had to struggle with them just to get me to hire me because they're trying to get answers over the phone. I don't do that. They paid for me to go out there and diagnose the dishwasher. Once I got there, they told me there wasn't no water entering the dishwasher, so it wouldn't clean the dishes. But when I got there, the dishwasher wasn't turning on at all. It was dead in the water, off the muscle, control board. So I'm like, okay, cool, you need a control board. Instead of hiring me to purchase the control board, come back and repair it, they asked for the part number, and um, they ordered the control board and repaired it themselves. And then they text me back saying, oh, well, we're getting a couple of days later. They text me tomorrow. Uh, we're, we're, we're still getting the error code. I'm like, what you mean still getting the error code? What error code? They said the, the ER code. Uh, it ain't doing this. It ain't doing that. I say, uh, okay. Well, you know, when I got there, my diagnostics was the dishwasher wouldn't turn on at all. And now that you, now that it's on and it's staying on, you're getting the error code. Anyway. Not so sure they want a refund. But, and I don't mind giving them their money back because I don't feel like going back and forth with them. But my thing is, why don't you just hire me to do the job, bro? See, if you would have hired me to do the job, then I would have bought the part. I would have made sure that the part that I bought was the correct part. I would have ordered it, came back, and installed it correctly. And if that repair didn't work, then guess who got to eat the cost? Now, since you try to cut corner, and I understand everybody wants to save money, and you're pregnant and all that stuff, I get it. But now that it didn't work in your favor, you want your money back. But it don't, it don't phase me. I'm going to give you your bread back. That's fine with me because I don't want to deal with this. And plus, you're probably going to go online and leave me a bad review. But I wasn't the technician that fixed your stuff or didn't fix it. I don't know why it's not turning on or why it's not working or why it's giving. I don't know nothing because I'm not the technician anymore. Once you told me you was going to fix it, therefore, I was fired after that. You had me come out and tell you what's wrong with it. Uh, you were going to do everything from there. However, if you would have had me come out and tell you what's wrong with it, and I would have bought the, bought the part and everything, came back and put it on, and it didn't work still, then I could have used my expertise, my, my knowledge, and blah, 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 to try to figure out what's wrong with it from that point going forward so I can fix it. And if I couldn't fix it at that point going forward, then I would have gave you your money back. But I don't know what the fuck wrong with it. I'm not there. Only thing, I'm, the only information I have is what you're telling me. I don't know if you plugged it up correctly. I don't know nothing about nothing. But anyways, that's my that's my um, my situation going on. If y'all want to hire somebody for service, man, hire somebody for service. And um, don't try to cut corners.